welcome you to this broadcast. I want to take up a few minutes of your time. I want to talk to you, what is it like going through a divorce? First of all, let's, let's define divorce. Divorce is something you cut off, this definition, your separation from your loved ones. Okay, let's talk about, I, as I begin to do my research on divorce here in Texas, 50% of marriages, 50% wind up in divorce court. That's, that's extremely high, extremely high. So I, I want to talk to you basically my experience, what, I, what it was like for me going through my divorce. First of all, I was in marriage for life. Divorce wasn't an option. And, but sadly to say, 12 years ago, about 12 years ago, wind up getting a divorce. I didn't initiate it because I was in it for life. But, you know, some of the reason why people, they get divorced, it could be physical, it could be financial, it could be emotional. You're just, just unhappy. If, if the other person is is really working in another area of his life trying to build that area up and then your mate suffers and i just i just want to encourage the guys i'm an entrepreneur have been for many many years and you know i had a wife that was a stay-at-home mom she homeschooled we ate healthy but i just ignored some of those signs that I, if I paid it attention, I probably wouldn't have wind up being divorced now. And so I don't wish divorce on anyone because it's, it's, it's shocking news. It's, it brings depression. It, it, it makes you angry because when you got a family, you got kids, you know, uh, my goal as a man, and this is part of how God made us men, we're providers. It's just a part of us. We want to provide for those that we love. And then when one wants to uh, separate or be cut off or go their way and do something different, but the person was telling me all along that we're going to wake up one day and, and not be happy. And I, I, I said, you know, I'm the provider. You know, she's not going to go anywhere. So I ignored those signs. That's why now today I learned to be sensitive when a woman is talking and take heed. And it taught me a mighty lesson. And I want to share a little bit of the things that I went through uh, my divorce. I, basically, when she shared the news that I'm moving on with my life, it was painful. Because I spent all these years building a successful business so that I, my kids can go on and live better lives, which they did do. Spite of the divorce, they went on and got their college degrees, and they're both doing very well. But for me, it was so painful, I didn't want to get out of bed. It was so painful. I was like, oh, God, this is worse than a death. A death, you bury someone, and you begin the healing process. But a divorce, you still have contact because you got kids. You got property, you got things that are in your name, and you've got to communicate. And I didn't, I basically, I didn't want to live after that. It's been about 12 years ago. I did not want to live because it was so painful. I wouldn't lay up in bed. 
my mind would just be hurting, God. Why such pain? I couldn't focus. I couldn't think correctly. I had business to run. I had guys. I had vans running up and down the road. I, I couldn't even function. Thank God I had a lead guy. He took over. And all I could do was just get up. Some days I would be laying in the bed. Hurting. God, I don't want to get up. I heard the Spirit of God on the inside of me. Ken, get up! Get up! You can do it! He was my coach. I said, I can do it. Can I do it? I believed it. I believed that I could get up and start my day and go through that daily task. But as I started my day, my main focus, I wanted to go home so I could rest. My mind was raging. So I would struggle through a day thinking about my wife. Such agony, such pain. And I was able to, for a period of time, I got bitter, angry. I was hurting inside. I, didn't, I got to a point I didn't care what went on. It's like the devil came in like a flood. And then one of the guys I had as the lead guy, he was still in business from under me. But God still prospered that business. It never went down. But it was just me. I was down physically in the way I think. I kept calm. The Spirit of God spoke to me as I got up. And he coached me and as time went on. He says, it, it, was, it lasted several, several months of just straight pain, torture of the mind. And one day, the Spirit of God spoke to me. He says, I can't help you. Because you're taking this in your own hands. Give it to me. I'm like, God, this is my pain. He says, cast your cares on me. For I love you. I care for you. I want to help lighten your load. And I said, okay. And I began to give it to him. And he began to ease the pain off of my mind. And I was sitting in my office as time went on. It's, it's, it's a slow process. And I was sitting in my office and the Spirit of God says, you need to forgive her. So I responded to, I called her, asked her to forgive me of my behavior, my actions. It wasn't physical or at all. It was just, I was mad. I was hurting. And God brought me through all of that over close to a year and a half. I got totally healed of that painful situation. The keys that I want you to pick up on, I obeyed. And I did what God says to do. He coached me through this. If I had friends, I would call and they would talk to me. You need to surround yourself with people that can encourage you, that can speak life to you and not death. And kept me going down the right path. So I was able to survive the painful, shocking uh, divorce that almost swept me off of my feet uh, is because I still had an ear to hear the voice of God and, and able to, I've always had heart to obey 
And those are some of my vital keys that help me to overcome the, the stinger of divorce. So God says, I'm no respect of person. What I do for one, I can do for another. I want to encourage you that if you've got served your divorce papers, man, it's not the end of the world. It feels like it. It feels like you're at the end. But if you cry, Psalms 91, if you cry out to God like I did, He'll hear, he'll come, and he'll touch your situation, begin to ease the pain, begin to take your mind to another level of peace that you've never known before. You can have peace. I came into peace as I began to obey the Spirit of God, and I listened. And he was there. With, he's the prince of peace. He's the creator of peace. I want to pray with you right now. I'm going to end this broadcast. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak to that brother, that sister, whoever they are in front of this camera. I release the presence, the anointing of God that's on me to reach that brother. Touch him. Strengthen them in the area where they're hurting the most. Begin to dry up those tears. I rebuke the spirit of death. I rebuke the hindering force over your mind in the name of Jesus. And I thank you. And I just want to thank you for stopping in on this broadcast. Make sure you subscribe to these videos. I just have a heart to read.